How does opening and closing credit cards affect your credit score? It's easy to get excited about getting a new credit card, but before you decide to apply, you need to know exactly how it can affect your score. First things first. Anytime you apply for a new credit card, the card issuer will pull your credit information. Also known as a hard inquiry, this credit pool may knock a few points off your score, even if you don't get the card. Furthermore, once you're approved, your new card may reduce the average age of your accounts. Unfortunately, this too can lower your score, as your credit age makes up 15% of your overall credit profile. Of course, it's not all bad. Your new card will also increase your total credit limit, which could have a positive impact on your score. Just be careful, as maxing out your card with big purchases or balance transfers will almost certainly have the opposite effect. Remember, when it comes to credit utilization, lower is always better. As you use and pay the card on time, it will also show up as a positive trade line on your credit. In other words, future lenders will see you as more reliable. Your repayment history accounts for 35% of your overall credit score. So if you're interested in building credit, a new card can help you build a record of consistent on-time payments. It also creates credit diversity or credit mix. Managing more than one type of credit can earn you additional points on your score. But what happens when you cancel or close a credit card? Will it damage your credit score? The short answer is probably. Like we mentioned earlier, your credit age is an important part of your score. Closing an older card could actually lower your average age and hurt your score. A general rule is that when you're not using your card, it's best to leave them open to keep a good credit ratio. Nevertheless, there are cases where canceling a credit card makes sense. Let's take a look. If you're paying a high annual fee for a card you don't use, then it might not be worth keeping unless the travel credits or perks outweigh the annual fee. If you just can't resist the temptation of using your credit card, then closing it might be beneficial for your situation. Joint credit card accounts should be closed during a separation or divorce. Otherwise, you'll be liable for any charges made to your account, even if it's an angry ex charging the card out of spite. Have more questions? Visit creditrepair.com today for more information on how opening and closing credit cards can impact your credit. And while you're there, you can take a closer look at your credit report summary for free with our online credit snapshot. Get started at creditrepair.com.